Hello beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Kira. Today's video is going to be a what I read in February. I didn't get through as many books as I would have liked to in February because if you're following me on Instagram then you would have known for around two weeks I was actually in Kruger National Park which I have a completely separate video coming about because I got some really awesome pictures and videos and stories to share with you guys about that experience. So definitely stay tuned for that which reminds me if you're not on Instagram definitely follow me there because I have already posted some story highlights of my trip there but obviously my video would be more in-depth and have a lot more detail but anyway long story short because I was away and I read it was a really intense trip I didn't actually get a lot of time to actually read the other two books that I wanted to get done in February I still had four books which I read and I really enjoyed all of them which I did speak about in my what I read in December and January video. So the first book that I read is called Oliver Twisted. I actually got this book as a book prize I think in like grade seven and I just never got around to reading it and here we are 10 years later. One of my goals for this year is to read a lot more books that are not only of like a different genre if you watch my previous video then you know the books that i tend to gravitate towards are things that are set in reality or that have mystery or thriller linked to it i'm not really someone for sci-fi or alternate universe type of books but i really do want to expand the genres that i take interest in and i really want to give everything a shot and i think oliver twisted was a great way to start as the title suggests oliver twisted it is a rendition slash a unique take on the classic Oliver Twist. Some elements are similar, you know, the boy is an orphan, the world is not really great, he hasn't been given the best opportunities, and he tries to, you know, still be a good person. And that element is definitely kept true in the story. But as the title suggests, the original story is twisted. It has a lot of gothic elements and also has a lot of sci-fi elements and basically this book is a take or a different perspective on Oliver Twist whereby some years ago Hell's Gate was opened and now the normal humans as well as all of the different hellish kind of people are living on one plane which is Earth. And it kind of tells the story of how this boy tries to dodge different things such as vampires, bad warlocks, shapeshifters, etc. To try and stay on track to escape his, you know, his bad life or whatever you want to call it. I think it's really, really clever of the author to, and also brave, to have taken on such a beloved classic and given it such a reimagined version of what if this happened or what if the story wasn't just a simple you know good boy bad world kind of story and rather there were a lot more elements involved such as magic good versus evil in a more literal sense if that makes sense i would give this book a four out of five because i think to get someone like me who's not really interested in sci-fi and things like that to actually enjoy and want to read on in the book it is definitely an art form going along on a similar i guess genre is the sprite sisters new magic this is actually the last installment in like the sprite sisters series and the thing about my mom she loves buying books but she never ever checks if like the books are a part of a book series so she'll just pick up one book and think it's an individual book you know there's no prior stories or stories that come after and she'll just end up getting it for me and that's I think why I took so long to get to this book is besides it being sci-fi and not being my first choice of story I was like what if I don't you know get into the book what if I don't understand what's going on because it's the last installment and I think like six or seven books I could be wrong but I decided you know I have to get this done because it's just been sitting on my TBR bookshelf and I can't keep it there any longer because I really really want to get through all of my TBRs before being able to buy any more books because buying books and reading books are definitely two different hobbies and last year buying books definitely outweighed reading them and so I gave myself a condition then I can only buy new books once I'm done with all the ones that are on my bookshelf to still read but anyway I really enjoyed this book 
I think that even though I did not read all of the books in the series, this book was so easy to follow and they definitely gave, I guess, like little background stories as to why something was happening in the book. So you weren't really that lost. I mean, only if you wanted the nitty gritty details and maybe you would feel lost. But overall, I felt like I understood the story. I still got the plot line. I still understood the characters well enough, even though I didn't read every single book in the series. Basically, this book is, or the book series, is about the Sprite family. There are four sisters, and each of them have different elements and powers which are in their position. And different people in this lineage of family, of the Sprite family, have had power from the beginning of time, I guess. And all of them have mostly tried to use their power, obviously, for, like, the good reasons. However, there is a line of the family which have not really used their magic for good. They've tried to do it so that they can manipulate situations and people in order to gain things for themselves. And I think the whole series is basically about the good side of the family and the bad side of the family kind of clashing and trying to prevent one another from either doing good or either doing more evil. And in this book, the youngest, I guess, family member gets her power and it basically shows how her getting her power how it shifts the dynamics within the family and leads to the last clash in the family to finish off the story i really think that this was a well-rounded book and i really enjoyed that i could follow what was going on in the story i think it's a very good part of a writer to make sure that even if you pick up one book you still understand what's going on in the story even if you haven't read the others I would give this probably like a three and a half out of five star rating. I really did enjoy this book. I just felt like some parts were really long winded, whereas they could have those parts could have been used to rather say what was going on in one of the characters' mind, why she was changing. It's yeah. my two favorite books of February are the last two. The first is called By the Time You Read This by Lola Jane. First of all, five out of five stars. Basically, this book is about a little girl who lost her father when she was around five years old and she grows up without a father figure and then when she's 12, her mom gets remarried and her aunt basically pops up at this wedding, her dad's sister, pops up at this wedding and says, your dad actually left you a manual slash diary entries for every year of your life from the ages of 12 till I think it was 30 because he passed away when he was 30 and so he felt like since he's not going to be there for his daughter in like some of her most crucial teenage and like the 20s you know those are quite crucial years in people's lives and he said he can only give basically advice in those years and so for each age so each birthday he gives her advice on what to expect what was happening in his life at that time and then he also gives like miscellaneous little diary entries for, you know, her first date, her first kiss, her first job interview, buying her first house. So different milestones in her life, but also a diary entry slash an accountant of what happened in his life in the same age that his daughter is turning. And I think the story was so beautifully written. And I think also why I really enjoyed this book is one, I think it's very hard to find um, black characters as the focus of books unless you go seeking out books like that. I think it's very, very hard to find that kind of character. And also the author is female and um, she's also of colors. But also I really enjoyed that the story was between a father and a daughter. Usually books like this, it's always a son to a, a father to a son or a mother to a daughter. So I think it was really, really heartfelt to show that fatherly bond with a daughter. And basically how it would be written is that you ha you'd have the entire diary entry, you know, of the father. Then there would be like small blurbs about what the daughter's thinking while she's reading it. And then also... How does that chapter fit into her life at the current time? And I think it was, it, it's such a different way of like writing, but also I think it really wanted you to fall in love, not only with the daughter who was the live character, 
but you also fall in love with the character that was deceased before the book even started and yeah i just really really enjoyed this book it was heartfelt funny at times and i think having a storyline that also perpetuates you to continue to read but also being genuinely interested in just the mundane if you want to call it mundane things that happen in someone's life this isn't like a extraordinary story about like this girl who like wins the lottery and suddenly like you know she opens up a business it's about an ordinary person who experiences grief throughout her life and never quite gets over it and how her dad's diary for her help her to become the woman she is even though he's not alive um when she reaches all those milestones or ages and en route or in accordance with the tears that i felt for the previous book comes this book which is called one split second i got this at a i think an exclusive i think it was exclusive books exclusive books sale and i actually got it for like 20 rand and i cannot believe that there were so many copies of this book and that they had to deduct the price because whoever looked at this book and decided not to buy it they really missed out on such a beautiful sad imaginative story and why i say imaginative nothing about the stories about alternate universes or magic this story is basically about a group i think of five or six friends who are involved in a car crash and each of the friends have their own after effects both physically emotionally mentally after the car crash happens and the book goes through each of their perspectives what happens to each of them but it doesn't only stop at what happens to the characters which is where i say it is reimagined this book talks about the effect on the of the crash on the dynamics of the friend group it talks about how the parents dynamics shifted either within like with like the mother and father or how different groups of parents of the different friends interacted or um, dealt with each other and the crash and it even goes as far as the community and even one of the bystanders and how it affects their life this goes i think over a period of three years i think the title of one split second is such a true to its name title i don't think there could have been a better title for this book because in one split second someone's decision changed everyone's lives forever and i really enjoyed that this book went i'm so sorry for that sound i think it's really amazing to explore how different people can react to one similar situation and it really makes you question the decisions that you take obviously not an maybe not an accident but I think it really stands for something bigger that you always need to think about your actions more carefully because you never know how it's going to affect not only you but everyone around you and also I think it does teach you a lot about forgiveness in this book as well I think I don't want to give too much away but forgiveness sometimes everyone says you know the only way you can get past things is forgiveness and I think this book was a perfect perfect rendition of that i don't know how better to describe this book except that it's about an accident and how far reaching an effect of one event can be this book really did make me cry especially towards the end i would give this a five out of five star rating so that is the end of the video i still really hope that one of these books is something that interested you and that you might seek out to read as your march or your april book to read but remember please stay tuned for my upcoming videos on my trip to kruger national park i think you guys are really going to enjoy it and you know if you haven't ever visited a national park like i hadn't before this all happened you can see what it's like to experience wildlife in its most natural form if you guys have any book recommendations for me as well definitely leave them in the comments below and have a wonderful week ahead filled with lots of love happiness light and positivity love you guys bye